Today I'm out by the the lakes in La Mata, well sort of between La Mata and Torrevilla. Um, this is literally across the road from where we live. As you can see it's pretty beautiful. Um, but I wanted to talk about why you should move to Spain if you can. Now this video is suited to people like myself that work Monday to Friday in hotels um, for accommodation because we work nationally and internationally um, during a working week we're not actually physically at our residence in the UK. It's also good for people that are retiring, also good for people that make money online or don't need a fixed residence in the UK. In fact if you've got a fixed residence you're probably better off renting it out and moving to Spain and living much cheaper. The, the fact is when I looked at the UK myself the rents in the area I live are £700 a month um, plus all the bills, plus council tax, plus everything else. Uh, council tax of £1,330 a year. Um, same size property in Spain, where, uh, at La Mata where we stay at the moment. Costs €300 Euros a month. Um, and although we've got the electric bill and the telephone bill, they're nowhere near what they would cost in the UK. I know people say, well, it's comparable. Well, maybe if you need the heating on, but this is... December, just before Christmas, as you can see, I'm out cycling, got my t-shirt on and everything else. I haven't got heating on. Um, we might have it on in the evening for an hour or so, but only when it's really cold. But pretty much most of the time it's like this. Um, it's ambient at the moment, summer is hot, so you might have heating on in the summer. Uh, sorry, the air conditioning on in the summer. But even then, depends where you live. It, it's, uh, it's a lot cheaper in Spain. Uh, the food generally is a lot better quality. Prices may be comparable with the UK, but the quality um, I've found is extremely good and good value for money. Five kilos of oranges for two euros, uh, two kilos of satsumas for a euro. Um, large shrimps, the, the, what they call it, I think, gigantica, they're like three, three euros fifty a kilo. Um, I don't know about you, only if you were living on UK diet would, you, would it be a problem. Because if you're having your UK tea bags, they come in at about €3.50 I think in the supermarket for a box of 80. Um, but if you're going backwards and forwards to the UK, there's one thing you want to shove in your luggage. They're not heavy, they're not a burden and it's quite easy to get six months supply in one, one trip. Uh, the downsides, bureaucracy is something people talk about um, a lot about, but to be honest, the UK is bureaucratic. If, if you're just moving to the UK, it's worse than it is in Spain. Um, the advantage you got in Spain is there's plenty of what they call jesters that will do most of the work for you. Um, but if you buy the guide I'm putting together, you can do it yourself. Um, and the amount of money you would have saved um, by getting just to, by doing it yourself over what the justers um, charge um, up to the paperwork we've done now we've actually just bought a 32 inch TV from the money we would have given away for somebody else to do the paperwork for us um, there's, there's no real downside there really isn't unless you need to work but that's that was the point I was making about this isn't for everybody if you need to work you're probably going to have to go to Barcelona or uh, Malaga or into Madrid looking for teaching English um, or bar work. Teaching English in Barcelona, Madrid seems to be coming in at about 1, 1,500 euros a month, but property rentals are in line with the UK and can be quite expensive, which is why I recommend if you're making money online, don't need to be in the UK Monday, Friday, uh, at the weekends, don't need a residency in the UK then Spain's ideal you're going to save a lot of money on what you would have been spending sitting on your backside in the UK in the rain <laughs> instead of the sunshine um, that's all I've got to say on it really I mean you're welcome to leave comments and give a bit of feedback on what you think um, I also find that with the standard of living we have here it's actually higher than we were getting in the Philippines for about the same budget. Um, 
now I've had people say well Philippines is cheaper it is if you're single it is if you have low expectations and happy living in a, a low budget low quality of property but if you're looking for western quality uh, high, high standard good quality TV good quality uh, building swimming pool clean beaches and everything else it all comes at a cost so it's, it's actually all relative to the standard of living that you're doing and to be honest the same standard of living in the Philippines cost me around 70,000 pesos a month which is just over a thousand pounds and I'm currently coming in at about a thousand euros in Spain um, but food quality is better because the prices are on par with the Philippines differences the quality is there here Philippines you're paying a premium for the stuff that they just don't bloody export it's the junk um, wine's cheap I mean we bought some wine the other day for two euros fifty just to see what it tasted like being cheap wine and it was better better than a lot of stuff that should have been expensive well it was expensive in the Philippines but hadn't traveled well so it's all what you want in life and personally I think give it another year we're already own a property in Spain and give it three years probably own three or four um, because we'll actually do it with our finances that A I earn but B that we're saving all the time um, because the property we've got at the moment is only 300 euros a month which comes in about 236 pounds a month at the current uh, exchange rates uh, which is nothing I mean places in the UK can be as much as that a week these days um, there's no downside healthcare you're, you're eligible for it because you're a EU citizen um, if you go resident there is also ways to keep you uh, compliant with getting free medical care your kids can go to school everything's here already um, some people do give a bit flack about certain things but I think a lot of people don't adapt well to new environments and that, that's part of the problem because um, I had the same experience in the Philippines where people would run things down but when you look at it it's nowhere near as bad as they say it is it's, it's all how you deal with things but anyway I highly recommend moving to Spain